The Holy Spirit also gives you the power to live a holy life. When the forces of darkness want to tempt you into a sinful lifestyle, the power of the Holy Spirit gives you the ability to live a holy life. In fact, Scripture says it this way in Romans chapter 8, verses 5 and 6. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things. But those who are controlled by the what? Say it aloud. Those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. Before a person knows Christ, it's so easy to be dominated by the sinful thoughts. Go ahead and lose your cool. Go ahead and yell at that person. Go ahead and scream at your kid. Go ahead and think that lustful thought. Go ahead and, and be bitter. Go ahead and be jealous because without the Holy Spirit of God, we're vulnerable to the temptation of the evil one. But when we know Christ, we're filled with His Spirit and His Spirit gives us power to live a holy life. His Spirit renews our mind and we start to think about the things that please Him instead of the desires of our fleshly nature. Scripture goes on to say this in verse 6, If your sinful nature controls your mind, there is death. But if the what? Say it aloud again. But if the Holy Spirit controls your mind, there is life and peace. Will you be controlled by the Spirit or will you be controlled by your sinful mind? mind. Think about it this way. Before you're a follower of Christ, sinning can be a lot of fun. It can be a total blast. But once you're a follower of Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit, sinning is no longer fun. It makes you feel miserable. It makes you feel guilty. You may even want to enjoy it, but all of a sudden you feel convicted. You feel like, I shouldn't be doing this. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is giving you the power, convicting you toward living a holy life. In fact, before you know Christ, it's almost impossible to step out of some sin. Why? Because there's a battle going on. The forces of darkness against the forces of light. But when you're filled with the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit will show you the way out. There is always a way out of your sin when you follow the Holy Spirit. What else does the Spirit do? Galatians 5 says we have fruits of the Spirit. What are they? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. These are the fruit of the Spirit. It gives you the power to live a holy life. Scripture also says it this way. Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. So I advise you, live according to your what? Live according to your new life in the what? In the Holy Spirit. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Verse 17 says, the old sinful nature loves to do evil, which is just the opposite from what the Holy Spirit wants. These two forces, what are they doing? These two forces are constantly fighting each other and your choices are never free from this conflict. There will always be a battle for you. The demons, the forces of darkness want you to do the devil's will. The Holy Spirit will give you the power to live a holy life.